Lord to save me. Here we are. Zoom, get it quick, get it quick, get it quick. There's a match inside that flame and it's not burning. Hey, it's good to see you again here at Faraday Studios. I'm Jake Wizard 4, addressing my Midnight Science Club friends. And there's so many of you now. I'm just, I can't believe how many of you would join us from time to time. Anyway, you know, we have low uh, mottos around here. Uh, club members know most of our mottos. The oldest one, of course, is always arrested, never convicted. I'm joking, of course. But probably the one we're best known for is Fire Good. And I think I first saw that on a, an old Frankenstein movie, Boris Karloff or somebody said it. No, no, fire is good. And fire is important. So what I thought we could do today is just learn one more little fact about fire and maybe experience the some insightful bit of engineering. You know, engineers, take science and apply it to uh, common purposes. Anyway, let's, I want you to consider uh, fire for a few minutes. I want you to see what I have on my desk. I have a, a little igniter here and an old candle, and I've got a, uh, uh, a thermistor, according to our producer, who's an engineer. This is a thermistor, a thermal couple thermometer, and it's very accurate. Let me turn it back on. Very accurate, but it's got a very wide range. I also have a Bunsen burner. And we're gonna study the engineering of a Bunsen burner for just a couple of minutes to appreciate what old Bobby Bunsen did back in 1855. Now here's a candle flame. And just for a second, how hot do you think that flame is? If I, if I could stick a thermometer, what do you think it would be? So I'm gonna take my uh, very sensitive probe. I'll start down here at the bottom. 900 and something, I move up. Oh, I blew on it. 1300, 1478, 1516, 1601, 1626. Over 1600 degrees up here in the flame. Down close to the bottom, it's 500 degrees cooler. It's 500 degrees difference in temperature from here to there. That can't be. That is amazing. A little bit of engineering news here. There's a several hundred degree temperature change between one area of that flame and another. That is amazing. That's a big difference, 500 degrees. I wonder if that's the same with a gas burner. I'm gonna blow this out. I'll bring this Bunsen burner over here. Fire it up. The interesting thing about a Bunsen burner, it's very simple. There's one moving part. It's got a little, little nipple right here that I've connected to the rubber tubing that goes all the way over here to the gas jet on the, on the lab station. And this is just a natural gas like that comes to your house. And it comes out in the bottom of the burner through a little pinhole. We're talking about a pinhole sized orifice here. The gas comes out of a little bitty hole and goes into this hollow tube. And there's a little flap and that flap, just so you know, this is the air intake adjustment flap. So this is allowed adjust how much uh, air we want to mix with the gas that comes out. I'm gonna shut the valve so there's not much air going in. I'm gonna turn on the gas. No, oh, there it is. Oh, yellow flame. And I'm gonna open the valve. And when I do, I let more air in and I get a blue flame. And I add more air, more air, it just kind of roars a little bit and it gets a nice, conical shaped flame. And if I go right up here to the top of the flame, whoop, it went up to 1200, 1500, 1700, 1800 degrees, right up in there. And I go down here, right at the edge of that cone. You see that little blue cone in there? Just on the edge of that cone, if I touch just that edge, it's 2000 degrees. But if I go down to the bottom of the flame inside, 493, 454, man, that's almost 2,000 degree difference from the inside of the flame at the bottom up to there. They say, well, what, who cares? Well, just think about it. If you're an engineer and you're trying to design something that uses heat, a furnace, a, a stove, or a where I put the skillet on the stove is gonna be a big difference between several hundred degrees and a couple of thousand. Isn't that amazing? the temperature difference in that flame. As a matter of fact, I saw this first time when I was in the seventh grade 
my science teacher did this trick. It kind of blew my mind. I took a, a, a needle, this is a dissecting pin, with just a pin, and stuck it through a match. And my science teacher, Mr. Cole, this is hard, said, if it goes well, we should be able to hang that match inside the flame. There is a cold spot in there inside that burner flame. We should be able to light that burner and let it burn and not set the match on fire. Surely that will, I gotta prove Mr. Cole correct. Oh, Lord, you saved me, here we are. Zoom, get it quick, get it quick, get it quick. There's a match inside that flame and it's not burning. That is cool. Where else would you see that but Midnight Science Club? We salute you, Robert Bunsen. 1880, 1855, and your design of the Bunsen burner. Hey, thanks for joining us at Midnight Science Club. Join us on social media and become a member of Patreon and subscribe. Join our family. We'll be glad to have you. Sweet. Match inside a fire. Ooh, good. 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 Fire good. Fire real good. Good.